A man is sniffing your scent too much, making her scream. He puts his hand over her mouth to make her stop talking, but he ends up killing her. In order to extract the girl's essence, he then puts the girl's dead body in a glass container. Grayson is aware, however, that this method will not be able to retain the girl's scent. He wraps the body in a cloth soaked in lard and lets it sit for a while before scraping it off fully in order to retain her scent. Gray was sure he could create a perfume that would rule the world if he collected the scent of 13 girls. When he enters the city as an adult for the first time, he is mesmerized by the alluring smell of women everywhere. In this sensory experience, his senses are fully immersed. Just as he starts to get interested in perfume, he smells a new scent coming from a girl selling fruit. Gray walks up to the girl, grabs her hand, and puts his nose in the palm of her hand. From that point on, he follows her because he wants to smell their scent again and again. Gray smells the girl's scent eagerly after accidentally killing her. But as time goes by, the smell starts to fade, which makes Gray sad. He tries so hard to find a way to preserve the scent of the girl, but he can't. Gray goes to a perfume shop in search of solutions. He uses his excellent sense of smell to create a perfume that impresses the master perfumer. He had to add ingredients to the pot after being satisfied with the organic scent. The essential oils he ends up with are a big letdown though. Gray's master reveals a method for extracting essential oils from fat, which is successful in keeping animal smells because he saw how obsessed Gray was. Gray sees that this method may be able to retain a woman's scent. He puts the woman's hair away and squeezes it to get white milk. He then scrapes the lard off his body and adds it to the pot. After putting alcohol in and shaking, he heats and distills the mixture in a container to make a valuable essence of the human body. But there are 13 bottles in front of him, and in order to create the best perfume, he needs to fill each of these vials with essence. When Gray first comes to this small town, he smells a scent of a woman that he hasn't smelled in a long time. How to catch and preserve these scents had been a question he had been thinking about all along. So he starts playing around with his co-workers, but the effects aren't good. He remembers what the master said about the fat extraction method and finds a homeless girl. He only means to take a small amount from her arm at first, but the woman misidentifies him as a pervert and is about to leave. Gray doesn't want this chance to pass him by. If she doesn't do what they say, she will die. He knocks her out, wraps her in a cloth that has been soaked in pig fat, and then scrapes the oil off her body. As expected, the essence preserved in this manner perfectly protects the woman's original scent. In order to create the best perfume in the world, he must fill the 13 bottles in front of him. Gray slowly falls into insanity in order to accomplish his goal. Today, he goes after twins. Tomorrow, he will go after anyone whose scent attracts him. The town is filled with fear as the number of sadly killed girls keeps going up. Measures are put in place that make it illegal for young girls to go out at night. But this doesn't stop Gray's crazy chase. Soon, he has collected 12 vials of essence that have the top, middle, and base notes needed for the perfume. The long-awaited perfume is almost here. Only the last bottle is missing. The most important one that would have a big effect on how well the perfume did. An exceptionally beautiful woman must be used to extract it. Gray naturally thinks of the girl he saw in town and stops the man who removes oil from women's bodies into medium-sized vials just to get a small vial of essence. Girls are still being killed in the town. Gray has gathered 12 vials, and for the last one, he is looking for the most beautiful woman. The town is in a panic because Gray has gone crazy, and the father knows that his daughter is the most beautiful person in town. He decides to leave the area with his daughter. And when night comes, they take refuge in an inn. Before he goes to sleep, he checks the room himself to make sure it's safe, but this won't stop a crazy. Gray sneaks into the inn and goes to the maiden's bedroom, ready to raise his club. By the time the father washes up the next morning and goes to check on his daughter, she has been brutally killed. Gray manages to get together and buy 13 vials of perfume. When the perfume is finished, the smells surround him as he pours the essence of the final bottle into a container. Gray is put in jail, and in the dark of his cell, he hides the last bottle of perfume he made in his hands. It only takes one drop for the troops protecting him to give up and let him go. 
Gray dons the uniform of the troops and lets them take him in a carriage to the square where the execution will take place. As the men on both sides start to take off their hats and bags and walk up to the execution platform, the smell of the perfume bottle covers his body. With a smile on his face, the executioner kneels down straight and starts to praise the criminal. Everyone becomes delirious and immersed in joy under the influence of the perfume. Thousands of drunk people are naked and tangled up in the square, smiling and watching the scene. Gray thinks back to the first girl he ever met, and all of a sudden, he realizes that he never seemed to forget her. Gray goes back to the place where he was born after his run around the square and pours the perfume over his head. Those around him who smell it rush toward him to get a whiff of this angelic, seductive scent. With the scent of a young girl's body, Gray also ends his sinful life. He creates the oldest and most enticing perfume. In order to create the world's most piercing perfume, he saves the smell of his loved one's body. Blossom's rescue, which she thought she had been given, will finally disappear with the wind.